So today I'm checking out one of Mactan's newest hotels, the Belmont. Now if you've seen my other videos, you would have seen I stayed at the Savoy, which is next door here a couple of years ago, or a few years ago. You can actually still see some of the windows damaged from the typhoon last year. It's been over a year now, so still work being done on that. So this hotel only opened a few days ago, so this is just a sneak peek. Not everything is operational as yet, but it will officially open in March of 2023. So let's have a quick look around. Mabuhay! Welcome, Welcome to, to Belmont Hotel, Hotel Mactan. On the map, the hotel's around a 15 minute drive away from the airport. Google Maps calculator is a bit off though. So looking from above, you can get a better perspective of the whole place. So firstly, let me give you a quick rundown of what's happening around the hotel and what to expect. The hotel's located at the back end of Mactan Newtown. Now this area is a up and coming promising new area. It's going to be really nice here. They've got lots of developments which I've shown in my other video. Most notably is the shopping mall that they're going to build there. There's going to be a beachfront. So, so this area in the next five to ten years is going to be a really good area to stay in. You see behind me there's already some condominiums here. There's the call centres, there's restaurants, there's cafes. So it's already happening here. It's kind of like a mini IT Park, which is in Cebu City, if you know of that place. You come to Mactan Island, you want the beach. Although this is not a beachfront property, down this road and around there, about less than 10 minute walk, you've got the beachfront, they give you a pass and you can use the beachfront part of Mega World. Let's go have a look at that place. There's a lot of new developments going on in this area. Remember this background, it's gonna be like Back to the Future. In 10 years time, you're not gonna recognize it. So somewhere here where this Scrub, overgrown scrubbies is where they're going to have this little cliff going into the water. It's going to flow from an artificial lagoon that they're building. This was the initial image of what it was going to look like, but plans have changed a bit since then. So this is Mactan Newtown Beach. When I came last time I had better weather, as you can see on screen. This was before the typhoon. Last time right there, there was a restaurant and bar just over there. Now it's just table and chairs. And these are the construction workers for the Belmont Hotel. So if it collapses, it's their fault if the hotel falls down. So let's take a look inside the Belmont. The building looks impressive. Walking into the lobby, it's a nice stylish setup. One thing you'll notice is the beautiful artwork adorning the walls. This is locally inspired from the area. This piece here represents the corals around Mactan Island. The lobby opens up to their bar. Again, it looks really nice. On the walls, you can see the guitars representing again, Cebu's famous guitar factories. So there's the Barna Bars for drinks, obviously we can get cocktails, local beers, international beers, and morning, I need a coffee. So that's what I'm getting now. They're still redefining their drinks menu as they want to add their own unique signature drinks here. So look out for that. Behind the bar is their cafe. It's a contemporary and fresh looking place. The food I tried was good, a nice mix of local and international cuisines. Again here, they're working on their menu to have their own signature dishes uniquely to Belmont. Sounds exciting. Anyhow, this was the menu when I stayed. At the moment, breakfast is just a, a set breakfast, but they do plan to have buffets here. You can see behind me these tables are set up. So when things ramp up with the hotel that officially opens, you'll be having buffets here. And this area here is where the chef is gonna to be to cook your eggs. So this was the actual set breakfast that I had. It was not too bad. At the moment, these were the choices for breakfast. You need a bit of R&R &R on the third level. They have the outdoor swimming pool here that you can see behind me. Not very deep, it's four foot in the deepest spot. So this is a pool bar here, opening soon. To yourself with a few cocktails or a cold one here, lazing by the pool. This is their kiddie pool, still putting together their finishing touches on this, it's a two foot in depth here with the sun going over in that direction by afternoon it'll be in shade so for the record have a look around me because in 10 years time this background is going to look totally different so this is their gym it's a fair sized gym here and then you've got looking out towards the pool there so on the third level they've got this alfresco area dining area you just relax under the sunshine or the stars if it's not raining on the website, you can see an artist's impression of how it's expected to look. Working on this area, and then there's a smoking area over there. So don't forget to come here at night time. You can see the changing colors of the lights on the building here. It looks really cool. Let's have a look at the rooms. So welcome to the Superior Deluxe. Now this comes in configuration of one queen or two twin beds. Definitely an impressive and stylish looking room. The hotel's rated as a four-star property, so you expect it to be nice. 
I really like the bed, it's so comfortable and I had a great sleep. With the pillows, they have a soft pillow and they also have a firm pillow. So whatever your preference is. So this is the twin bed setup. It comes with a desk with tea and coffee making facilities and there's a mini bar. Everything is brand new, so it's a really nice room. So like with the Belmonts, I've stayed at before and the Savoy's, the room is a little bit small. So I've got a view overlooking the pool towards Mactad Island. Looking at the bathroom, the same thing is said about the size. It's on the small side of things. Other than that, really nice. It's stylish looking as well. I just also wanted to mention the artwork on their bed heads. Like with the other artwork around the hotel, it's locally inspired. It's a real nice touch. And the colors of the room just look great. Just to mention also, the aircon was a little noisy, but not a deal breaker. On the website, you can read more about the hotel as well as the Mega World projects here. At the time I'm making this video, they're offering some fantastic soft opening specials. Have a look at their Facebook page for the latest promos. You can book through third party sites. On TripAdvisor, it wasn't shown a Goda, but when I checked directly with the Goda's website, I could see some rates. So to sum it all up, obviously being a soft opening, I can't give a full review of this place, but my initial impressions, it's quite a nice hotel and there's lots of things to like about it. Particularly with it being a soft opening, there's some great deals going on if you want to check out those. So if you want to check out the review I did of the Savoy Hotel, the sister hotel next door, click on this video now. If you want to check out another amazing resort here in Mactan Island that's just recently opened, I highly recommend you watching this video on screen now. I'll catch you there.